Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Tiki, and in this video we're going to learn about the factory pattern. And you can think of design patterns as a way to organize code so that it's easier for you to manage and easier for other people to understand. And there are various design patterns that we're going to be covering. So one of the most commonly used design patterns is the factory pattern and in this pattern a class simply creates the object that you want to use so we're gonna go ahead and create two classes one of them is gonna be the actual object that we're gonna be creating from the factory and the second class is gonna be the actual factory which will create our book object so we're gonna name our factory book factory and it's simply going to create the book object for us so let's go ahead and create two private properties. One of them is gonna be the book name, and the second one is gonna be the book author. Let's also go ahead and create the constructor, which will create the variables for us, and set the properties to name and book author is going to be the author so the constructor is going to assign the properties book name to the given variable name and the book author to the variable author which will be provided by the user when the object is created now let's also create a function called get name and author and this method is going to return the book name and author So by creating the properties as private, they're not going to be we're not going to be able to access these properties from the outside of the class. We're only going to be able to get these properties with the public method get name and author. So here I'm using self br and um, that's just gonna allow us to use the constant br inside of the class. So let's go ahead and also add it here. Const br equals br. And that's just for the HTML um, breaking tag to add the spacing. And I, I can just delete this one here. So I just wanted to show you guys how to access this constant inside of the class with the keyword self, double colon, and then the actual name of the constant. Okay, so now our book class is ready. Let's now go ahead and create a static method inside of the book factory, which we'll use to create the book object. So here we're just going to add a public static function, which is our method, create name and author, and then it's simply going to return new book name and author. So as you can see, by doing this, the method is going to return the object because we create the object with the keyword new and then book, which refers to our book class. And we're also providing the name and the author, which is going to be the name of the book and the name of the author. So that is the that is what is accepted within the constructor of our book object and that's what we're doing here so that is what our book factory is going to return it's going to return the book and that's pretty much uh, all that it, the factory pattern does it creates the class which uh, creates the object for us all right so now let's go ahead and test this out let's go ahead and create book one and we're gonna call our book factory and the way to call this static method is to use a double colon. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to call our create method that we created here. And then let's give our book a name and provide the author as well. And let's go ahead and create another book for the same way. Give the name and the author. All 
All right, so now we have our book objects. So let's um, let's try to print out book one's uh, name and author by calling the method here, and um, that's how we access the method with a with a Dart get name and author, and then let's echo this out, and then echo book to get name and author so this should access the get name and author method within our book class and print out the book name separated with a with a dash and the book author as well and it's also going to have our um, br constant at the end so we don't have to print it out here so let's now go ahead and view this in a browser And we have our book name, the humming effect, the author name, and we have the second book's name, and the author as well. If, if we go to source code, you can see that we're also printing out the BR tag as well. Okay, and that's how the factory pattern works. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.